This is Twit. Big news before Google I.O. I saw this come out last week and I was like, oh, they're getting things ready for I.O. They're, yeah. they're setting the stage for these discussions. Uh, Google announced Project Treble last week, which is going to fix one of the biggest complaints we have about the Android ecosystem. Uh, so Project Treble is basically a new framework, a new way to separate vendor modifications of Android from Google's own parts of Android. All right, so what this means is that it allows Google to make changes to the operating system that don't interfere with the vendor modifications. So basically this means that Google could update Android devices without interference from the, ma the manufacturers or even the carriers if it goes that far. Um, and this, the one thing though is that it does require the vendors to play ball on how they create their devices. So a Samsung would need to adjust to adhere to the standards to make Project Treble work. Uh, but, you know, ostensibly this could be, you know, pr stage fright happens again and there's a big, you know, big security issue. Google could roll out an update that can go directly to devices, devices bypassing the manufacturers. This is huge. Um, of course, they say more info is coming from I.O., but there was a whole website uh, that they that they uh, rolled out that kind of addressed this and kind of gave some more documentation to it. Big news last week. It doesn't fix the problem 100 percent, but it definitely is making steps towards giving Google a little more control on how the uh, updates get out to devices. Uh, Mike, what did, Mike, Don, what did you guys make of this uh, kind of announcement? Is this kind of as a developer side of things, like a huge sigh of relief? For me, it's uh, it's a huge glimmer of hope, as I like to put <laughs> glimmer it. Glimmer of hope. <laughs> um, we've heard some of these things happen before. We had a lot of the, the the CCD documents, which is what the hardware manufacturers are supposed to adhere to over the years to make sure that they're compatible. But again, these these modifications to the system would happen, and then. You know, for some reason they couldn't update the, the device because of whatever software integrations were set up before, which I kind of spoke about just recently. Yeah. So I think this is a move in the right direction. Is Samsung or the other manufacturers going to adhere to this? I don't know. There's a lot of, mon you know, I've worked with Android for many years now. They make a lot of modifications. They like to do a lot of crazy things. Mike can attest to this. As developers, the biggest pain point we deal with is Samsung. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to see how things go. Uh, I'm hoping for the best, though. As developer, okay, explain that. The, the biggest pain point that you have to deal with is Samsung. Why is that? Because they just have so many devices in the marketplace and they go their own way so many times? They go their own way so many times. Yes. Like okay. you said, uh, so many cases of this is broken on a Samsung device on yes. the texting. Okay. Uh, the for sure, what John just said, fist. Samsung is... The, also, they have so many devices, There's obviously. So, like, the, the fact that they're the number one device that we're probably targeting in every market pretty much means that those nuances are super important and we have to right. deal with them. Like if, you know, as some other manufacturer that doesn't have a huge impact on our user base, we probably would say, oh, well, it's broken there. Those guys will have to deal with it. But when it's broken on the Samsung S6, you have to put in the hard to work fix to it make, yep, make it work. And fix it around users, Samsung's yeah. problem. Yeah. There's a million users using the S5 or whatever, and for some reason it's crashing on this particular screen on an S5 because of a particular th thing that Samsung did with uh, that particular device release. And then, of course, keep in fun. mind, to circle back to what we are talking about originally, well, Samsung doesn't update their OS very frequently, or so it's not like you can count on then on you know updating or fixing the problem. Uh, yeah. You have to work around it, and you know that you have to work around it for basically forever because they're not going to patch it. Yeah. So. Interesting. All right. So I'm going to jump ahead, actually, and read the email from today because it totally ties into what we're talking about here. Albert Rubio in Barcelona, who has a OnePlus 3, he wants us to know that, uh, brought up seamless updates. This is something that uh, was a big announcement for Nougat last year, I think, at Google I.O. This is one of the things that they touted. Maybe it wasn't at Google I.O. I know at some point, but it was definitely a feature at Nougat. And he says, it's one of my favorite features of Nougat, uh, but nobody talks about it except the Pixel owners. Do you know if Samsung, LG, HTC, or any other OEM is using this feature on the new flagships, or are we still on the traditional method? I know changing the partition table on old phones is difficult and potentially dangerous for non-tech people, but there are no excuses on new launches. It's kind of the same problem, yep. right? So, so yep. basically, um, seamless updates allowed, it's a new way of partitioning the device so that when there is a major system update happening, it would download and prep the install in real time while you're using the device so that when you go to restart after mm -hmm. the update has been downloaded, the the boot up then, the update process is really fast. It's already been done in the background instead of what most people experience, which is you download the update, you power down, you boot up, you wait, it does all this extra stuff. It's like this long drawn out process that happens after the power up. Mm -hmm. In this case, 
because of the different system architecture it's done before you ever power up your or power off your device. But that requires manufacturers to kind of do things a little bit different. It does, yeah. Yes, it's a feature of Nougat, but it requires manufacturers to kind of tailor their device to that new feature, and no one seems to be doing that. Could we end up in the same situation with Treble, do you think? It's very Is possible. Treble trouble? Treble trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's very possible we could end up in the same in the, in the same boat, but I think yeah. what's happening is, is Google is kind of narrowing this gap of, of the things that can possibly go wrong, and they're trying to right. tighten that... The, the handle on the Android operating system. They want more control there. And overall, I think that's that's a good thing. And yeah. we're moving in the right direction. For sure. When is it going to happen? I don't know. The sooner, the better, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, what are your thoughts, Ron? Are you, are you feeling uh, optimistic or how do you feel on this? Yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's any, any step forward is a good step. I think that this is, you know, it's, it's, it, they're going to, they're not going to be able to tackle this with sweeping change. It's going to have to happen with baby steps and with the, uh, with the partnership and commitment of the manufacturers. So this is the, I think this is a good step in that right direction. And then the question is, we'll see how, how well the manufacturers play with it. And that will dictate the next step. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, but I, I completely agree. Like th this is not to say Google should never try and, yeah. and push out, you know, updates that that promise big ideas like this, because this is what Google needs to do. Arguably, this may have been what Google needed to do a long time yes. ago. And maybe we'd be at a different point now, but at least they're doing it now. And, and let's just hope that the manufacturers actually yeah. play ball because these are really important things. They are people.